Hey folks, Scott here, Rogue Home Cinema. Uh, in a rogue enterprise level cinema, it's a very advanced cinema with a lot of acoustic and uh, audio engineering parameters that go into these, not to mention video. And uh, today we're actually doing the audio calibration, uh, early stages of that. Uh, once the speakers are actually connected and tested uh, in correct location, that is the left speakers indeed showing as left and say the surround back atmos channel is indeed firing as surround back atmos so we've got the right uh basic routing of the electronic system we then need to actually verify that the drivers or the signal is also what we call in phase or in time last thing we need is one speaker working the opposite direction to the other speakers and absolutely cancels out and destroys the entire sound field. Now we've got about 15 speakers in this room and if any speaker is out of phase, the whole intent of the sound is gonna collapse. And you'd be amazed how many systems actually have this error. And in fact, uh, while doing our test today, we indeed have come across that very fact. So I've got my microphone here and we've got our uh, little audio tools system down here, which is sending out the uh, a positive throw of sound and we've got our Atmos speaker up there on the ceiling in the dark and um, it's actually showing that it's running opposite phase to all the other speakers in the room. Now the connections, so the red and black you know, uh, connections of the speaker cable are in fact um, wired correctly for all intents and purposes on the amplifier and the speaker side. So what's gone wrong? Uh, it's not too surprising for me that this is actually a potential issue because we've actually running a big power amplifier for 11 speakers in the room and the front Atmos speakers are actually running off a separate single-ended RCA connected power amplifier. Now when we're running a combination of different power amplifiers and particularly between RCA and XLR connectors, it's easy for the polarity of the signal to flip. Now this is no big deal as long as the entire room is running exactly the same. So in this case our front Atmos channels are out of phase, which means any information that we're sending up there is really working against the system and we've got a hollow or collapsed sound field in that area. So Atmos just simply wouldn't come alive and wouldn't be magic. Doesn't matter how hard we will try with this connection error, the sound isn't going to work. So a very simple but fundamental component of calibration is really verification. Have we configured and routed the right speakers to the right spot? And how is our timing or our phase connection also true? Once we get all that right, we can actually go through to creating full range sound throughout the room per speaker and see exactly how the room and speaker is combining to create sound in the seat. Uh, and that's where I guess the fun stuff become, uh, starts to uh, kick in. So. Major top tip on that one happens in all sorts of systems. It's happened right here on our own project uh, and something that's easy to fix. We're just going to swap the positive and negative cables over in the power amplifier down at the rack and we'll test again and we should all be in phase and good to go. Uh, for more top tips and insights and inspiration, tune in, hit subscribe and we'll catch you then. Thank you.